We're under a wind advisory for today. We could see a little bit more wind damage across southern New England. We're expecting to see some gusts as high as 30 to 45 miles per hour developing by the late morning hours and through the early afternoon. It's one of the advisories out there. We're also under a flash flood watch and a flood advisory right along uh, our area as we deal with some of the heavy rain this morning from what's left of Michael. Wind advisory in effect from 8 until 3 o'clock this afternoon. And we're certainly dealing with some of that heavy rain. It's enough to cause a slow morning commute for us. Those darker greens, the yellows kind of lighting up Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts, coastal and eastern Connecticut and out through Long Island. You can see our lightning tracker has been active as well. So some rumbles of thunder out there. They don't last long. We're not talking severe storms, but as those thunderstorms come through, they can uh, have an ability to drag down some of the stronger winds from up above our head. So looking at our live Doppler radar, closer view here, we've got these bands of heavy rain. This is very typical in these tropical systems. One setting up right and now across northern Rhode Island right now with some heavy rain along the coastline. Already picking up an additional half an inch to an inch of rain just since midnight along our shoreline. And those rainfall totals make it as high as one to three inches here before this pulls away at the end of the morning. So Fall River and New Bedford, very slow commute for you. We had a, a thunderstorm over uh, Woods Hole earlier this this morning and we're seeing now no active lightning strikes. Let's take a look at the latest on Michael. As I mentioned, that transition from a tropical system to a post tropical system has occurred with it. The storm's actually expanding a little bit and getting a little more intense at 65 miles per hour for the sustained winds. It is about 275 miles to the uh, south southwest of Nantucket and moving quickly at almost 30 miles per hour and it's going to continue to cruise two hours south and then east as we move through the rest of the day today. So the position by two o'clock in the afternoon will be hundreds of miles to the southeast of Nantucket. And so this is only going to be something that we're dealing with for part of the day today. And our threat tracker is elevated with it, not just dealing with the uh, morning rainfall, but the gusty winds that will be developing and lasting into at least the start of the afternoon, then clear and chilly tonight for your Saturday. No severe weather, quick shower sprinkle possible. It'll be clearing out late day and a cool and dry Saturday night and Sunday. So all of our games going on this weekend, the Red Sox and uh, the Patriots and both of those looking dry and chilly. By 10 o'clock in the morning, I expect the rain to be out of Rhode Island, clearing out of southeastern Massachusetts. So next few hours, especially before 7 or 8 o'clock in Rhode Island and through 10 a.m. in southeastern Massachusetts, dealing with that moderate to heavy rain. Two in the afternoon, back to Sunny skies this evening and overnight tonight going to be clear to start. Here come those couple of quick showers I mentioned in the morning. This is at 9 a.m. As the afternoon goes on, any isolated showers or sprinkles coming to an end. This is 4 o'clock, so finishing out the day with some sunshine. Let's talk winds out of the north right now. Sustained around 16 miles per hour in Westerly and Block Island, and those winds will continue to increase. So a stormy morning commute, rain and thunder. Watch for street flooding and poor drainage flooding. We are seeing that occurring and that's expected to continue low to mid 60s along the south coast this afternoon. We're back to sunshine in the second half of the day in Woonsocket. It'll be a brisk afternoon everywhere with those cooler temperatures and speaking of cooler temperatures, we go from the 50s early this evening to the upper 40s by 11 o'clock. Seven day forecast. So Saturday is a cooler day, a little bit unsettled clouds, a shower around first part of the day and then uh, clear and dry in the evening. Sunday, lots of sunshine and near 60 full force.